Hi folks, this is Dad. Welcome back to the bar. And in front of me, I've got five Buffalo Trace runs here, brands that, uh, that have similar profiles. So we're going to find out if they're worth the difference in price today or not. Um, we've got one here that's almost harder to find than Blanton's. We've got Buffalo Trace, which in some places you just can't find. And in some places, it's like water. We've got Eagle Rare. We've got Ehi Taylor, Colonel Ehi. And then we've got Blanton's right here. So, folks, what we're going to do is we're going to have all of these, which which they're all... Uh, under lock and key, which is in which glass, I'm going to set these aside. We're going to do a blind taste and we're going to come back and see whether or not the price point is worth it. Okay, so buckle up. If you haven't subscribed already, make sure you do so that you can come back and watch all these uh, different videos that we make and, and help grow the channel. Uh, like, comment, uh, let us know if you have any of these, if you want to try any of these. Uh, maybe you have all of them and, and, and you disagree with what we think at the very end. But stick around, folks. This is going to be very interesting, okay? All right. Thank you. Okay, folks. So we're back now. And uh, I got them A through E. And I don't know what's in, in one of them or the other. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through here. I'm going to give them a smell. I'm going to try and see if uh, which one has the best nose, the best palate, the best uh, experience. And we'll see if it's the, the most expensive or if it isn't. Okay. All right. So let's see what's in glass A here. Classic bourbon. I know it's a buffalo trace. Okay. Your spices. Uh, a little bit of brown sugar. I hate to say it, but it kind of has that grape. Uh, kind of that processed uh, grape fake flavor like cough syrup or cough drop. It's delicious. Kind of got a nice pepper kick to it, a nice floral, a nice fruit. I want to say like a stone fruit. Very nice. Very um, Buffalo Trace. Okay, moving on to glass two here. Kind of a different nose. Picking up a little bit of a vanilla in there. Not too different. It's very floral. It's got a bright, bright flavor. A little more oak in this one. I wasn't picking up any oak in that one. It tastes like a little older bourbon. It's got a lot more leg. It's creeping down the glass. It looks like looks like uh, old lady thighs. I'm sorry, ladies. I apologize. I'd say this one kind of feels older than this one. It has more of a the follow through, the finish. I guess you could say it's great to watch the. The viscousness of it. I like using those catch words. But this is a little older than this one. At least at least that's what it's given me. Oh, vanilla. Woo! Vanilla, spices, pepper, floral. Wow, this smells great. Wow, that's phenomenal. I love this one. Woo! I can drink this one every day. Wow, that's really nice. Same nose, but just more pronounced. This is so far, I'm going to say, and these are all great. All of them. Oh, there's the vanilla starting to come out now. They're all great. Oh, phenomenal. Wow. Mm-hmm. I love my job today. Same nose. Same flavor profile all the way around. This one tastes older, tastes 100 proofish. Wow, that's really nice. This is great. Now remember folks, what we're trying to do is figure out if the price point differences are worth what we're doing here. Um, I love this. This is in tie for first place between this one and this one. These are great. That's phenomenal too. Ah, oh, man. I love Buffalo Trace Profile. Okay, well, you know, you're getting the same vanilla, the same pepper, the same floral note, whatever that note is. This is phenomenal. I'm going to say it's not better than this one or this one. But it's, it's in the top four. I'd say A. Wow, that's good. That's good. 
That's real good. But all right, so I'm gonna say, let's see here, E. All right. So this is gonna be my last place. Huh. All right, I think that's where I have to go with it. I'm gonna come back in a minute and I'm gonna go through these one more time um, to see if, if I still feel this way. And uh, stick around and we'll be back. Okay, folks, so I just cleansed my palate. I took a second, I walked around the gym a couple times, shot a couple baskets, said, put me back in coach, I'm ready. So let's see what we got, okay? All right. Wow, that's phenomenal. Bright and floral. Okay. All the flavors you want and expect. This one here has the most punch and kick to it. And if that's what you want, then that's what you want. I'm not sure though. I mean, I like it. The most punch and kick. Kind of light. Uh, yeah, that's got more, more hub. Mmm. Man, that's got a great nose. Yeah, it's less than this. I don't know why, but that just kind of seems a little. It's good. They're all good. They're all phenomenal. And tomorrow, because the profiles are all so different, I mean, so the same, so, so close, you're like splitting hairs. I mean, I can tell you right now, if there's a $10 difference between any of these bottles, it's bullshit. But I'm going to have to have to change these around real quick. I'm really liking this one. Because it is so different. Damn it. When you drink this one, everything but the finish is phenomenal. Oh, there it's coming in. See, these two are almost identical to me, except for the fact that I wasn't picking up on the finish there. Taste the citrus.
Damn it. I'm going to go with this. I'm going to go with this lineup. All right, folks. I'm going to pause it. We're going to come back and uh, find out what's in the glasses, okay? All right. So, here we go. Okay, so, the first glass that I picked is glass D. What do we got? Taylor. Oh, Ehi Taylor. All right. What is in glass C? Bowman. Bowman Brothers. Oh, my gosh. All right. E. Buffalo Trace. Buffalo Trace. Wow. All right. A. Eagle Rare. Eagle Rare. Well, damn it all. <laughs> now, the difference between each of these is a split hair. Um, just, it, it might be how long the bottle's been open. It might be, because the flavor profile is almost identical, folks. Except for this one here, which just seemed to be stronger, a little bit uh, more potent, a little bit uh, more in your face. Everything about it just seemed to be... Uh, more, more. And that makes sense because it's it's 100 proof. Um, the fact that the Blanton's is over here, it, it's only for one reason and one reason only. It just didn't strike me as much as the others at this point. Um, but when you're drinking one profile um, over and over and over and over and over, you kind of get lost in it. Um, so forgive me folks, but, uh, this is where my, my profile came out today. Um, go ahead and put in the comments if, if you feel this way also, um, if you feel like I'm disturbed, uh, if I need to go back to, to whiskey school, um, let me know what you think folks. Uh, anyway, if you haven't like and subscribe, I really need your help. Thanks a lot folks. I love you. This is his dad. Thanks a lot. See you in the next video. Bye-bye now.